Well, our research on SCN is uh, one of the more important things that we do because soybean cyst nematode is the most important disease of soybean in Minnesota and affects pretty much all of the farmers in the southern and central part of the state and is now becoming more widespread to the soybean farmers in the northern part of the state. The research that we've done to date has been very important in helping us to identify some new sources of resistance to soybean cyst nematode. These new sources may have different uh, genes than the common sources that are now used by farmers uh, in growing soybeans in their fields. This new source of resistance is important because we know that the populations of soybean cyst nematode do vary from field to field and change according to the varieties that the farmers have grown in the past. The new sources of resistance that uh, we have found are in plant introductions that have come from other countries. Most of these uh, introductions have come from China, which is where soybeans were first domesticated and have been grown for over 5,000 years. So the soybean plant and the nematode have, have kind of grown together, if I can use that term. So uh, we look to the Chinese germplasm as a source of resistance. When a, when a population of nematodes suddenly overcomes a resistant variety, we would name that, we'd call that a new race. And there are new races that are starting to appear in Minnesota. Um, so we're interested in new genes and we're interested in new versions of genes, new alleles of existing resistance genes, so that they provide resistance to these other races. Some of those new uh, versions of resistance genes have already been introduced into varieties that that the breeding program here has, has, has released. We have started crossing these new genes into the current high yielding varieties that we have in Minnesota and we are using the DNA markers to help us with the incorporation of those genes. But in addition to the resistance genes, we also need to have high yield and resistance to some of the other problems that farmers face, such as Phytophthora root rot, iron chlorosis, and we also want to make sure that the quality of those soybean, that is the protein and oil content, is uh, at least average or above average. So we need a whole combination of traits uh, besides the resistance to soybean uh, for these new varieties. The work that we do here in agronomy and plant genetics and in plant pathology is utilized in several ways. One, it's incorporated into the commodity varieties uh, that are released from the public institutions like the University of Minnesota. Private companies also use the results of our research the genes and the DNA markers to put resistance into the varieties that they then release to the farmers. We are also using it in our food type soybean research that we do here at the University of Minnesota to incorporate that resistance into the food varieties as well.